Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Rochelle from Rochelle Handmade Designs, and in this video, we are doing another episode of Friday Sews. So, before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button and the subscribe button, and also turn on the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload an amazing video. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get right on into this video. Now, I set up all my Friday sews the same every single week. I tell you what I sewed or what I worked on, and then followed by what I have planned coming up. Now, in this episode, I'm gonna tell you what I sewed this week or worked on, what I have coming up, and then I'm also going to do my August sewing plan because it's the end of the month, so why not? All right, so, the first thing that I worked on this week is Simplicity 9277, which is this pattern right here. Now, the thing about it was this is this month, July's Mommy and Me. I did complete June. I just have not been able to photograph in it because it's been raining every day this week. So if you have not been paying attention to any of the Friday shows, I did a Mommy and Me. My pattern was Simplicity 8380, and my daughter's pattern was Simplicity 2377, which I will show you in a few. I'll put some clips here on what those dresses look like. It's amazing. I love them, and I just cannot wait to photograph in it. It's coming up. I also was able to finish editing um, the cold shoulder top, which was Butterick 656. 6562. I did edit the video. I just need to take photos in that top in order to put in the video and also um, post that video. I also um, finished up my edit for the tutorial that's coming for the spaghetti strap top, which was top number three in the uh, top series part three, Summers Out, Arms Out edition. So I did finish that as well. And I and I just need to post that video, but I want to post them in order. So I want to be able to take the photos for Butter 6562 before I post the photo, the photos and the video for Simplicity 1366. So that's what's coming up. Hopefully next week, maybe towards the weekend, whenever I can get those photos for the coat shoulder top done. So those are the things that I worked on this week. Now, what's coming this upcoming week? <laughs> um, so this upcoming week, I wanna work on a jacket. So the pattern that I wanna use for this jacket is Simplicity 8843. I'm gonna go ahead and put the pattern up on the screen. I do not have it in my hands. Um, I believe it's 8843, it is a blazer. So the one thing that I wanna do, it's unlined. I like my blazers that's going to be used for work to have a lining in it. So what I'm going to do is do some build out, create a lining by utilizing the main pieces and all that good stuff. This pattern is in the pattern drawer, which is why I am using this pattern um, for the jacket. Now, I'm not sewing it all together this month. The only thing I want to do is go ahead and start my build out because I have other projects that I need to get to this month that I've been putting off. So another thing that I want to talk about is that first business wardrobe series that you guys heard me tell you guys about in the month of May. Now, I have received so many comments about when I was going to release those videos. One thing I decided to do is not do the video. I have those videos recorded and I have the photos taken. The reason why I'm not releasing those um, videos is simply because it is so hard to find the pattern. It is an out of print pattern. I was not aware of it when I recorded the video that it's hard to find the pattern. It's not in a pattern drawer. You would have to go to Etsy to buy it. And when I looked on Etsy, the pattern is running anywhere from 10 to 14 dollars and then if you uh purchasing a pattern in the uk from the uk it run, it's running 18 dollars. it's not cost effective so i decided not to do that pattern for my business wardrobe series however i will post the photo for the top and the skirt that i have already 
did for the video. That was Butterick 6030. That was the first business wardrobe series I was going to do. I do apologize. I know you guys wanted the tutorials for that. I'm no longer doing the tutorial for it anymore. Um, I do have the skirt and the top filmed, which I may consider doing posting those, but it's not guaranteed that I'm going to post it because it's hard to find the pattern. I will do another wardrobe series later on in the year or towards the beginning of next year with a pattern that's in stock. <laughs> I do apologize about that. Now, another thing that I want to go ahead and tell you guys about that's upcoming is I changed my sewing space last weekend. So I still have a couple of things I wanna do. That's why you will see that the filming is a little different. Um, moving forward than where I normally film my tutorial that I still film in this area for my Friday so so that's nothing different. So now that I talked about my, uh, what I sewn, what's coming up, let's go ahead and get into my August sewing plan. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the things that I plan on sewing this month, August 2021. It's not a lot of projects this month because my kids are going back to school. So I want to get into the habit of, you know, sewing at a certain time or whatever. So July was a quick wash of that. And now I should be, you know, getting things together. So the first thing, well, I don't have this in order. I'm just going to kind of, you know, show them and sew them as I see fit. All right, so the first thing is this one right here. I love this fabric. So I am doing a camisole as part of the top series with this fabric utilizing Mimi G9114. It's view B. Now, at some point, I'm going to do the whole <laughs> ensemble. Um, I probably won't get it done in the month of August, but probably by September, you'll see the whole ensemble with this fabric. Now, I plan on doing View B this month in the month of August and utilize this nice um, portion right here, which is the floral portion. And then for the pants, I want to use the bottom portion, which is more of like the, I guess you could call it kind of like forest trees. Um, fabric for that portion. So that's one of the things I want to sew this month and well, this upcoming month in the month of August. The next thing is regarding the jackets. Um, I have two patterns out. I'm not sure if I want to utilize 2446, which is Simplicity and Out of Front Pattern, or Simplicity 8844. This is still in print. This is from early spring 2019. What I want to do is do some build out and also add a lining to it because I believe this one is unlined. Yes, this is an unlined blazer. So I want to add a lining to it so I'm able to wear it to work. And I will not be using an in-car fabric for it. I am actually using a tweed fabric to actually have it as a business jacket. So that's what I plan on working on just to build out, but not actually sewing the entire jacket together this month. And I'll show you next month what that fabric is going to look like when I get ready to sew it. Now you guys have seen this fabric before. And um, I have used this fabric to make a top and it's um, the top that I made was McCall 7724. Now this time around, I want to use it for McCall's 8040. I plan on doing this as part of the top series, the button down, um, button front top, I believe is what it is. Um, and I plan on utilizing view C in um, this pattern. So um, that's the view that I am going to probably do. I might change it to B, but it will be this button down shirt. And then I want to pair it with some pants that I can wear to work because I don't have many trousers I found that out when I was doing the in-car appreciation month. I didn't have a lot of trousers that I have sewn together. So I want to actually make more trousers this time around. So I have an idea of either doing the top in this print and the pants in this print because I already have a top 
in the fish scale slash arrows print, which is this print right here. And I think if I did it like this, it would look nice because I already have a top in this fabric right here. So we'll see. I'll play around with it and see which way I want to go about it. I have three yards in both of this fabric, so I'm not sure yet. But that's another plan that I plan on doing this month. All right, there's two more things that I plan on doing this month. One is a tunic. And this tunic is part of the top series. And it's this pattern that I plan on using, which is 7807 by McCall's. I plan on doing view D in this pattern. And this is basically like a transition into fall top. Um, because the next top series is pre-fall top. So I'm getting geared up to do that towards the end of August. And this will be part of that top series part four, the tunic, which is 7807. And I'm just using this plain old uh, broadcloth, broadcloth fabric that I had in my stash. I'm just pulling stash fabric out. And the last thing that I plan on sewing is also part of the top series. This is top series part three, though. Summer's out, arms out. So there's two things left to sew in this top series. I have done top one, which was a uh, one shoulder top. Utilizing 8380, I actually made it into a dress. I also did the second one, which was the coat shoulder top, utilizing Butterick 6562. I also did the third one, which is a tutorial as top number two and top number three are tutorials. Top number three, I utilize Simplicity 1366. And then um, this one is top number, top number four is the camisole, I believe. And the camisole, I am using this fabric right here that I just showed you, utilizing Simplicity 9114 for that. And then the last top as part of that Summer's series, that's the top series, part three, Summer's Out, Arms Out, is utilizing this Ankara fabric for my peplum, and I am using um, Simplicity 8136. Now, because I want to wear this to work, I am actually doing view B on the pattern. Yes with the closed back, even though I really want to make um, view A on this pattern, but I am actually doing view B on the pattern. And if I have some fabric left, I want to just go ahead and make the shorts, which is view D. But mine will not be just short. It would actually be a little bit below my knee, so I'm able to wear it to work and not feel like I'm wearing shorts. I'm actually wearing longer pants, culottes is pretty much um, what I'm going for, but not view C, which is a little long. I don't want it that long. Um, and like right underneath the knee would be perfect. So those are all the things that I plan on sewing for the month of August, 2021. Well, there you have it. That's everything that I have for this episode of Friday Sew. So, so I told you what I sewed this week or worked on. I also told you what I have planned coming up this upcoming week, and now I'm finishing out with my August sewing plans. So, like, comment, and subscribe. Also, turn on the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload an amazing video. So, until next time, keep sewing.